Hello friends, welcome to Dexplorian and I am back with a new poster illustration. For those who are new to my channel, I am DD and here I make and help you learn designing in Photoshop and discuss various tools and tips and tricks in Photoshop which can help you be a better graphic designer. Today we will be creating this and I will guide you through the whole step by step process so without wasting any more time, let's start working. We will be starting off by creating a new document and selecting our canvas which will be A4 size poster and now we will be dragging our image with the subject on it. We have to remove the background and for this video I will be skipping the removal of the background. It's a long process as you know. You can refer to my other videos for the whole background removal process. I think for the purpose of the video it will be okay. You can refine it more, it depends on the usage of the image layer where you are gonna use it. Now let's add a solid adjustment layer and bring it below the subject layer. And most of the thing seems fine. There will be some uh, discrepancies will find it we can definitely find in it there might be some fringes as it was on the black background uh, but for this purpose since we are selecting the background color is white we don't need to do that but if you think you will be going to use this image on a darker background then you should go for the back, uh, fringe removal step okay for the time being we have done and we don't need this layer we will be turning off the visibility of this layer and bring our second image we have to rotate this image because i want it at the bottom of this canvas so what we'll do is hold the shift button and when the cursor changes to this we will rotate it when we do it with the shift button then it uh, rotates at definite angles otherwise if you do this in between the definite angles like 75 and 90 there will be other numbers if you want that you can do that resize according to your need and position it wherever you want Now we will bring a text layer, type what you want, go to move tool and now we will be changing the size. If you want you can change the font, adjust the spacing between the characters. I will be changing the color. Now we'll add two more text layers. To duplicate the text layer, hold the Alt or Option key on your keyboard and just drag. Then double click to edit. Now what we'll do is we create a duplicate of the image layer by pressing command J and bring it at the top of the text layer and then once again we will resize to adjust it more accurately just select this layer and slide down the opacity so that the text layer in the background is visible now you can adjust We'll bring back the opacity to 100% and now what we'll do is we'll clip this image layer to the text layer. For clipping we have to hold the alt or option key and bring the cursor in between these two layers and just click and now it appears on the text. 
now what we'll do is we will select the image layer the second image layer of course and the text group and we'll convert these two into smart object now if you want you can give a drop shadow to this layer for adding that what you have to do is go to the layer the smart object layer right now it is smart object then double click on the blank space of the layer and the blending option will open you go to drop shadow click it to check the checkbox and now you can play with the sliders here if you want you can position the shadow like that hit ok when you are satisfied now we'll move to the next part now we bring back the subject layer which we have created earlier by turning on the visibility of our layer and then we will resize and reposition I want it facing to my text layer so what I'm gonna going to do is I will flip this image for that you have to go to transform tool for going to transform tool you select the layer and press command or control T and then uh, left click on the layer and then flip horizontal or vertical whatever you, you want right now we will be going for flip horizontal now we will rotate and once again we will be doing a double exposure over here for that our image layer we will be using the same image so we will make a duplicate copy of the image by pressing uh, selecting the image layer and pressing command J and bringing it on top of our subject layer once again play with the opacity reduce the opacity to whatever amount you are comfortable working with If you want, you can rotate and reposition also. When you are done, press on the tick button and change the opacity back to 100%. Once again, clip the layer to the subject layer. And this time we will be changing the blend mode to hard light. If you can see. Uh, this gives the second uh, image layer an appearance of somewhat like a tattoo on the face and we can reposition and play with it to achieve your desired result now we have to do some uh, adjustments with our subject layer for that we will first start with the image on the subject which we have already clipped we will reduce the opacity then we will add a levels adjustment layer and clip it to the same subject layer and now play with the slider to adjust then we will apply a layer mask to the image layer which we have clipped and now take the brush tool with foreground color is black and now we will adjust the flow to around 10% Make the brush size a little bit bigger. Now we'll paint on the subject. Adjust your brush size by pressing the second bracket keys whenever you need a bigger brush or a smaller brush. If needed, again go back to the levels adjustment layer and adjust. And lastly, we will add a drop shadow to our subject layer. For that, go to the subject layer and double click. The blending option will open. And now select the drop shadow. Play with the slider to get the desired results. When you are satisfied, hit OK. And now that our this part is done, we are left with the last one, which is adding a paragraph. For that, we'll add some margins. And now we will draw the path so that we can place our paragraph inside that path. For that, we'll select the pen tool 
and holding down the shift key we will mark the points. If you want, you want to you can also change the position of the anchor point. You can delete or you can add. You can reposition the anchor point by holding the command key. And now that it has transformed into curve, but you want it straight line, you have to is you hold down the Alt or Option key and drag this. Now our path is defined. Now we will click on the text tool. You can see that the text tool icon has changed and now we will click inside this path. Now if you want you can remove the margins. I have already written my paragraph down so if you want you can just write it down in a notepad or something like that or you can type it out. It is uh, as per your choice. So to edit this one, you just have to go to the paragraph and double click. And then I will just paste my text over here by pressing command V. And now if you want, you can change the fonts also. And hit the tick button whenever you are satisfied. And with this, we have completed this illustration. Let's do a quick rewind of what we have done so far. We started off by opening a new document and selected our desired canvas size and dragged our first image onto the canvas. We have done the background removal process and kept aside the subject layer by turning off the visibility. Then we brought our second image layer onto the canvas and before that we also added a solid adjustment layer beneath all the layers. We resized and positioned the second image layer and then added a text layer. Done the necessary adjustments and then added another text layer. Made a duplicate of it. Then we made a duplicate of the second image layer and placed it above the second text layer and clipped it and also added a drop shadow effect. Then we turned on the visibility of the subject layer, flipped it, resized and positioned it to our desired position. Then again we created a duplicate of the second image layer and placed it above the subject layer, clipped it and changed its blending mode to hard light and reduced its opacity. Then we added a levels adjustment layer and clipped it to the subject layer to achieve the desired result. And lastly we added a small paragraph by defining the path. Hope you liked today's illustration as well as the process of creating it. Feel free to leave your comments. The links of the images are given in the description in case you want to use them in your creation. If you like the video, please give a like and share it with your friends. And for more such videos, please subscribe to the channel. I will be back with a new illustration. Till then, goodbye and keep creating.